morning. Today is Tuesday, May 3rd, 2022, and it is day number 115 in my fasting journey. Yesterday, I weighed in at 167 pounds even, and today I am at 166.6 pounds. So I have lost four tenths of a pound since yesterday and a total of 52.4 pounds since the start of my fasting journey. So, um, I, as of today, am 2.6 pounds away from getting to the halfway mark in my fasting journey. So the halfway mark is 164 pounds, and at 164 pounds, I would have lost 55 pounds total and have 55 pounds to go until I get to my ultimate goal weight. This is a milestone that I have been looking forward to for a while now, and I am so excited that it is like right around the corner it is like so close it's in view and it's you know very much so possible that i could get there by the end of this week more than likely it will probably be next week because i do have refeeds scheduled and with refeeds comes a gain and so the gains kind of like set me back a bit so i am you know pretty sure that by sometime next week i'm going to get to the halfway mark and like i said i just cannot wait. Um, I can't believe I've made it this far. So I am so excited. Anyhow, um, I am doing rolling 72s right now. I am in round 21 and I am about 44 hours in. So this means that I have a refeed scheduled for tomorrow. But what I am actually going to do is extend round 21 out by one day so that my next refeed will be Thursday. And then Thursday, after I have my last bite of food, I will set my fasting app and um, start round 22 of rolling 72s. And what I'm going to do is extend round 22 out by one day. So that way um, my next refeed will be on Monday. And the reason why I'm doing this is because Mother's Day is this Sunday. And my brother and I um, and my mom, we um, talked it over and thought the best day to have a Mother's Day meal would be on Monday. And so that's why I'm extending, you know, round 21 out by one day, and then I'm going to extend round 22 out by an, an one day. So I can get my refeed on Monday, that way I can have a meal with my mom and brother. And so by extending my next two, you know, rounds of rolling 72s out by a day, that should help me, you know, put a nice little dent in my weight and get me closer to the halfway mark. So since I am not having a refeed tomorrow, um, that takes the pressure off of me um, today. I don't have to worry about, you know, thinking about what my refeed is going to be. And I don't have to, you know, worry about going grocery shopping. I can kind of postpone that by like one more day. So um, that's what I'm gonna do. That's the plan. It's kind of like set in stone right now. So um, anyhow, whatever I have for my refeed, you know, is going to, you can pretty much guarantee that it's going to be a meat source and either like a side of vegetables or a side of low sugar fruit. Um, because I am trying my hardest to like stay away from having cheat meals. And um, the reason why I bring cheat meals up is because yesterday um, I had a friend stop by and see me and he wanted to know um, if I have cheated on my fast and why I have not cheated. And so basically, this is what happened. So I work just minutes away from the courthouse where Johnny Depp and Amber Heard are having their defamation trial. And my friend, um, you know, drove up here to um, see if he could be chosen to sit in the courtroom. And I think they're letting like 100 people a day sit in the courtroom. I'm not sure like what the process or procedure for picking people is, but my friend was not chosen and he figured, you know, since he's in the area and I'm right down the street, why not come by and um, visit me? And so the last time my friend saw me, I was at 219 pounds and actually um, he's only known me at 219 pounds. And the look on his face was absolutely priceless when he saw that I had lost over 50 pounds. He could not believe his eyes. Um, he said that I was like basically unrecognizable and he was actually shocked to um, learn that I had over 50 pounds to lose because um, 
what I do, since most of my fat right now is in my belly area, I usually wear like um, tops that kind of conceal it. I wear like flowy tops. And so as a result, he couldn't tell that I had a weight problem at all. And so he was very shocked to, to learn that I had that much weight to, to lose because like I said, I conceal, you know, my problem area, which is my belly area. But anyhow, um, when people lose a lot of weight, most people are usually curious about like how they lost it. And so I told him that I am doing intermittent fasting and um, eating low carb meals. I kind of failed to mention the fact that I began this year off with a 40 day water fast and that my intermittent fasting, um, my eating window is like 72 or I fast 72 hours and then have a read feed. So I kind of failed to mention that fact to him. I kind of keep that on the down low because the last thing I want is for like people to kind of like talk me out of, um, you know, what I'm doing or like put their like negative energy on like, you know, what I'm doing. So that's why I kind of keep things, you know, secret. And so anyhow, he asked me, you know, like how often I have cheat meals. And I mentioned to him that, you know, not once since I've started this fasting journey have I had a cheat meal. I've certainly, you know, have thought about, you know, cheating, but um, I haven't had a cheat meal. And then he's like, well, why not? Like everyone deserves cheat meals. And then he's like, especially me, since, you know, I've done a lot of good work here. And the reason why I haven't had a cheat meal is because I have done a lot of good work here. And I am concerned that like if I have a cheat meal, it will set my cravings off and that like basically I won't be able to stop myself and that I'll start heading in the other direction. So that's basically why I don't have cheat meals because I know myself really well. I've known myself for 43 years and I know that like just like having a little bit of junk kind of like sets things off inside of me. It like just wakes that like wild like beast within me. Um, that one's like um, food that I know that I shouldn't be eating. And so that's basically why I kind of like stay away and refrain from cheating. And um, I don't think I'm ready for a cheat meal as of yet. And so I'll wait until I get to my goal weight before I even, you know, think about having cheats. And so that's why I don't do it. It's just that I know myself and I don't want to set the cravings off, especially, you know, at this point in my fasting journey where I am so close to getting to my ultimate goal weight. This is the closest I have ever been in like a long time. And so that's the only reason why. So anyways, that's today's video. I will see you tomorrow. I hope that you have an amazing Tuesday. Take care. Bye.